first we have to create a virtual machine uh, i have already created a virtual machine on aws account so you can use aws azure gcp or you can uh, do this in your local system as well so what i'm going to do here first i'll try to connect this machine so click on this click on connect okay my server is connected so here i'm going to deploy my red panda cluster uh, as a docker so first what we have to do we have to install docker and docker compose so let's install docker and docker compose so let's go to docker documentation here you can see that if you are using ubuntu or debian based system we can use this command let's go to uh, virtual machine and paste okay now we successfully installed docker and docker compose now we have to create a docker compose file for red panda cluster then we will deploy so let's go to red panda documentation i'll paste this uh, documentation url in description you can get from there you can see that red panda self-hosted quick start so we can either go with a cloud option or we can go with a dedicated we have a multiple option with the red panda first of all if you want to self hosts you can do that as well okay so if you come down here you can see that uh, red panda documentation for docker compose either you can go with a single broker so this will give only one broker with a uh, you know uh, less availability okay but if your workload is very high then what you can do you can select the three broker option then you can deploy this so no need to do any changes if you want to change the red panda volume name if you want to change any other port number configuration uh, if you want to change any other configuration for this red panda you can do this manually so as of now i'll go with the default option so this is quite enough let's copy this let's go to my virtual machine let's create a file called docker compose So now I have created a file called docker compose. Next step is we have to run this. To run this, we can execute docker compose up minus T. I came back to my virtual machine. You can see that all containers are created. So this is my volume and this is my broker. And at last you can see that my red panda console. Let's execute docker compose ps. So this will give all the docker container which created. So this is my docker compose. Sorry, this is my red panda one, two, three, then console. So if you want to see the console, you can just copy the public IP and this is running on port number 8080. Let's hit on port number 8080 and this will open our Red Panda console. And here you can see that my Red Panda console, I have a one topic, I have a three replicas. So three broker are only and this is my master one. Okay, let's go to topic. As of now, I don't have any topic over here. So if you want to create a topic, you can create the topic from the console itself. Let me call this as my topic okay all test topic let's give a partition uh, two and replication factor we can give three it should be an odd number uh, click on create so you can see that topic is created and we have a two partition and this is replicated through three broker so fine now let me do a small testing i'll create a python script and the python script will create some messages and this will produce message to our kafka or red panda so let's go to my virtual machine again I have to create a file of here, nano. Uh, I can call it as producer. I'm just testing this producer.py. It's a Python script. Yeah, this is the script. So uh, the script will have a close to thousand threads. So thousand thread will send one message every second. Okay. So every second we will get thousand messages to this broker. And uh, so uh, I would say within one minute we will have 60,000 messages. Okay, let me save this configuration. Okay, so now you can see that we have a two file. One is a Docker Compose, another one is producer.py. So now I'm executing producer.py. So just execute Python and producer.py. Here you can see that, uh, so this producer.py, this is sending message to uh, your topic zero. So topic we already defined in our code, Python code. So this will automatically create a topic called your topic and this will send message to our Red Panda cluster. So let's go to my Red Panda console again. So now you can see that we have one more topic called your topic with a one partition, one replica. Okay, so click on this your topic. As of now, you can see that we have a 22,000 messages already here. So let's refresh. You can see that 25,000. We can just enable this. This will automatically refresh every 10 seconds. Okay, so that's it. So if you want this kind of video, please do subscribe my channel. So then see you in next video. Bye bye.